In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to fix the this phone number cannot be used by iMessage and FaceTime issue on iOS 18. If you're facing this frustrating problem, don't worry. By the end of this tutorial, you'll have the tools you need to resolve it quickly. Let's start with our first fix, checking your SIM card and phone number. Open the settings app on your device and navigate to phone. From there, tap on my number. Make sure the number displayed is correct and corresponds to the SIM card in your phone. If there's a discrepancy, update it to the right number as this could be causing the issue with iMessage and FaceTime. Sometimes simply reinserting your SIM card can also help as it enables your phone to re-establish a connection with the carrier network. The second fix involves restarting iMessage and FaceTime. Begin by heading over to settings then select apps. Here, find and tap on messages. Once you have that open, turn iMessage off. Wait a few moments before you turn it back on. This process can refresh the system's ability to recognize and activate the correct phone number. Next, do the same for FaceTime. Go back to settings, select apps, in, um, and then choose FaceTime. Turn FaceTime off, wait a moment, and then switch it back on. This simple restart can often resolve any minor software glitches or connection problems. If the issue persists, the third fix involves checking for software updates. It's crucial to keep your iOS device updated, as newer versions often fix bugs and improve compatibility with apps like iMessage and FaceTime. Go to Settings, tap on General, and then select Software Update. If an update is available, install it promptly. Updating your system can naturally resolve the problem by enhancing overall performance and clearing out minor software bugs. Lastly, if none of these solutions work, you can try resetting your network settings. Head to settings again, tap general and scroll down to transfer or reset iPhone. From there select reset and then choose reset network settings. This option will clear out any network configurations and preferences which may be affecting iMessage and FaceTime. Do this only after trying the other methods as it will erase saved Wi-Fi passwords and Bluetooth connections, requiring you to set them up again afterwards. By trying these solutions, there's a good chance you'll be able to fix the problem and continue using iMessage and FaceTime without any hitches. If the issue persists, consider contacting Apple support for further assistance. Thanks for watching and remember to subscribe for more helpful tech tips.